Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody's new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. My slogan is believable brown beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It is just an explanation of the makeup I do on this channel. Also, sometimes I like to use makeup in slightly weird ways. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Okay, so today's video. This is my record. This is the earliest I've woken up for a video, 5.23. Um, I am absolutely shattered. I worked on a TV job yesterday on the Big Nasty Show. I finished at like 10, 20 and then had to come home. I haven't slept that much, but I need to get this video out. So, you can't say I'm not dedicated to the cause. I've woken up early, set up my little makeshift studio and here I am. But I am really looking forward to this makeup. I think it's going to be a good one, so let's get into it. Okay, so this makeup is inspired by this little eyeshadow. Can you see that? Is that in focus? Yes it is. I don't know what the name of this is because on the back it doesn't look like there's actually a colour. There's just some numbers so I'll read them out in case that's what it is. It's 45117 but it's this really pretty um, rusty colour. There was a colour similar to this in the Bobbi Brown News Road palette and that was the one that I really liked but I didn't buy the whole palette for it. I bought this shadow which is very similar, it's a bit deeper but still really pretty. So I'm going to do a look based on that today. Um, it's going to be a quick one if I don't like go off into a run or start talking too much which I think I'm already doing so let's just get into it. Okay. First we're going to start with concealer. I am using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Cafe and I have to say I think this may be my last week of using this concealer because my summer tan is fading but it's going to be hot again still for the next couple of weeks hopefully in London so maybe I can catch up so you can just see I've used two colours I've mixed Amand into it today just to level up I'm just going to blend this concealer through and this is going to be my eyeshadow base as well but you can see I use a really thin veil of it I find that if you put too much concealer on as a base under your shadow it can kind of work against you so Make sure you're not too heavy handed. I see lots of videos with concealer, like lots of concealer on the lid, and I think, mm, how's that gonna hold up in the heat? Today's video, there's no foundation because I don't always wear foundation, and I feel like I might be letting down my no foundation crew, so I'm just gonna use a powder base today, but I'll show you what I use for that. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. First, brush up struggling. Yeah so patchy I say this every time I'm just so disappointed in her and then brush up the good eyebrow I've just seen the name of the eyeshadow it's on the front <laughs> it's called rocket firebird so that's the color I'm gonna use today but first I'm gonna do my crease I'm gonna use this blush it's from NARS it's old so you probably can't get it but I'll link a shadow or a blush color that I find that's similar it was from the Pierre Hardy collection a couple of years ago and a friend of mine, this is when I still used to work at MAC, a friend of mine who's a makeup artist came up wearing it and I was like, oh my goodness, what is that blush colour on you? It looks incredible. And she was like, oh, it's this one. I've got a spare if you want it. I'll give it to you. And I was like, really? Okay. She said, yeah, I'll send in one of my kids to drop it down for you. When are you next in? So I told her. And then she actually did it. And it's such a pretty colour. You can see I'm taking it quite high today. And I think this colour, the one from And Other Stories. Did I say it was from And Other Stories? I think I did, but it's from And Other Stories. That's going to look so nice with this as a little backdrop to it. So I'm taking a 231 crease brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to blend this underneath. And I'm going to carry it quite low down. Then I'm taking a shadow, then I'm taking a blush from MAC called Swiss Chocolate. I'm not sure if this comes as an eyeshadow. It's, I've forgotten so much. I worked there for so long but I've forgotten so much. <laughs> I'm just using this and tucking it in at a slightly tighter contour on the lid. It doesn't look like much but it's these little details that make a look kind of work I feel sometimes. And then lastly, I'm taking Embark eyeshadow. It's in a limited edition palette, but it's a permanent colour at max. So you can just, if you don't have this palette, you can just use the original. And then I'm just going to tuck this 
down here. Then I'm going to go back to my first brush, take a little bit more of this blusher. It's called Boys Don't Cry, just in case anyone has it already. And just kind of go over everything. Blend it all together. Now for the bit that I'm excited about. Well, I'm excited about all of it, but I haven't used this shadow yet, so. It's very, very soft. Be careful with your brush, don't put too much pressure. And we're just going to look at this colour, guys. This is nice. I'm impressed. I have never, um, <laughs> I've bought enough clothes from Andal Stories, but I've never bought any makeup from there. I always look at it when I go in, but I just think, nah, I've got enough. When I saw this eyeshadow, I was like, oh yes, you are coming home with Mama. How nice is that? Yay. I like it. Wow. Okay, let's do the other side. This is a gorgeous colour. What's it called again? Rocket Firebird. I like you a lot. And I'm choosing it as my inner corner highlight. It doesn't always have to be a different colour. Sometimes because of the dimension of your face, it will look a little bit different in there anyway, so. And just packing that on in there too. Oh goodness, I love this. Oh, I love it. Taking a lip pencil from Paris Berlin. The colour is 214. It's a really lovely burgundy pencil. Yeah, that pencil is so pretty. And I am just blending that in. Kind of going over that embark shadow because I think I like it more. Yeah, I do. So I'm just going to colour over where I had the embark on its own. And just blend this through there. Yeah. And do the same on this side. And I'm going to go back to Rocket Firebird and just amplify a little bit in here because it's got a little bit muddy. This has made me happy. Okay, I'm going to go back to that pencil and use it as a liner underneath as well. I'm taking it about two thirds of the way in and do the same on this side. Taking a black gold pencil, running that in my waterline, which is an extremely pleasurable thing to do at this time in the morning. So my eyes might look really bloodshot, especially with all this red going on, but I still like it, it's fine. I'm gonna get very early nights today. I have been abusing sleep, as in not doing it enough, and I can really feel it. It makes me so foggy in the day. <laughs> yeah, I really love this. Okay, and I'm going to put it on my top waterline, but really, really close. Because I don't really want it to take away from the burgundy. So I'm literally just putting it right at the lash line. Actually, I'm going to put a tiny bit on my hand and a little bit on the tip of the brush. And then I'm just going to use this to blend it through. See, it gives a sultriness to the liner, but it doesn't look like black. And that's, why am I facing that way? That's basically what I'm going for. I'll do the same on this one as well. Then I'm just taking the leftovers and pull out the corners a little bit and I'm going to work a bit more into the lower lash line and I always not always but I like to sometimes get a brush once I've done it on my actual waterline and then just blend the edge away because I feel like sometimes it can make your eyes look a bit pinchy a bit mean and I'm trying to go for more alluring so I find this little step can help sometimes just to soften the edge of your waterline. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. 
we know the double mascara trick extended play first and foremost and then my in extremes i mentioned 3d black lash i love i love this look if you can't tell it's making me a little bit happy okay i'm going to go back to my brows and help this little one out she seems to have lost her way so if anyone knew um at the moment I'm kind of feeling a bit more of an organic brow shape so I don't fill them in until they're perfect. I fill them in until I think they look pretty and I think there's a difference between perfection and something actually being attractive. And I think there's nothing worse than an overdone brow. So that's kind of it. I don't really do too much with them. Just get the spoolie and brush it up so it's not too stiff. We all know the famous saying, brows are sisters and not twins. Then I'm going to move on to skin. So today I'm using a mineralized skin finish from MAC in the color Dark Deep or Deep Dark. This is a really old one. I think they may have changed the way they say it. It might be Deep Dark or Dark Deep, but that's the color I'm using and I'm literally just buffing this onto my face. And for me, this is enough coverage. If you are like me and you don't really like a lot of makeup, it's not like Studio Fix powder, it's much, much uh, softer. Oh, it's actually a bit light for me at the moment. <laughs> so I haven't lost my tan as much as I thought I had because before I could never use this all over my face. But here, it's a little bit light. But I can fix it. So I'm going to go to my Danessa Myrix powder in 05. And just buff this on my head. And on my jawline. I'll warm it up a little bit. Hmm, has that gotten funny there or is that me? No, it's me. No, it does look a little bit funny. Hmm, my forehead looks really, really dark all of a sudden. So, I'm going to take <laughs> a little bit of concealer just here. It looks really weird. I'm going to clean off that brush a little bit and then just buff that into my forehead because the colour has gone really odd over there. No, I don't like what that's done in my forehead, so I'm going to wipe it off. So I feel like it looked nicer without anything on there. I don't know what happened. That is so bizarre. That has never happened before. Okay, I'm going to dry it off. <laughs> and I think I was just heavy handed with the powder. Let me just do it lightly. Go lightly, Stace, go lightly. Yeah, that's better. For blush, I'm going to use the same colour from NARS that I used on my eyes. Just buff that in as well. Right, I am taking Shaft of Gold. I'm not sure if they still make this highlighter at MAC. They may do, but I'll check when I do my edit and then put it on screen for you. And take a little brush. And just do a tiny bit of highlight there. We want I'm not a massive fan of powder highlight. I just feel like they always look a bit powdery, a bit textured on my skin colour. Is that the right place? Yep. Mm, a little bit just casually underneath the brow. So it picks up a bit, but not like you've actually put it there on purpose like I used to do back in the day. Oh goodness. Tiny bit in the middle of my nose. Mm, a little bit on my chin. Like barely anything. And then, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that always looks patchy to me. I always feel like powder highlight looks like powder 
so I'm not a massive fan. I tend to use creams and liquids more, but I'm trying to, you know, break out the mold and all that good stuff. This is Swiss chocolate. This is the same blusher that I used in my on my eyes as well. I'm gonna use it as a really soft contour. And I feel like I need a little bit more blusher. Yeah. So now I'm gonna get my Mini Fix Plus and just spray my whole face. I use a lot of Fix Plus because I don't like powdery looking skin and that's another cool thing with the mineralized skin finish as well. It gives a really satiny finish of the skin. It's not matte like a blot powder or a studio fix or any kind of powder foundation. It's got a soft sheen to it so that's why I like to use it. Today I'm going to show you two lips. I'm going to do a nude one first and then something with a bit more colour. So first and foremost cork lip pencil. Guys, this is so weird. I'm doing the edit now. This is going to be a bit of a head trip for you, but I'm doing the edit. And I was just like, you didn't use cork. You used Costa Riche. And that's why you couldn't find cork when you were doing your product shots at the end of your video. Because you didn't use it, you twit. <laughs> it was Costa Riche. And then just stamp that on the top. You could, this could be a look. You could just wear this by itself. So maybe it might be three three or four lip looks depending on where you stop. I'm taking my Hourglass Nude, what's it called? Femme Nude, Nude number six lip crayon. Hmm. And just putting that on the top to make this really, really pretty nude color. I'm going to take Costa Riche eye pencil from MAC and just define the edge a bit more. So that's the first lip look. This is pretty. Oh, I need to wear this makeup somewhere. This can't just be like a YouTube video and go and die in the grave there. I need to wear this. I love this look. Okay, first lip on. I'm going to show you a second one now. Let's get a wipe. Oh, my mind's awake. I can hear him. And the second look I'm going to do is this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to use a lip pencil, so I'll try it without first and see what I think. It is a crush lip colour from Bobbi Brown, and the colour is Grenadine. And this is the second one. So you could leave it like this, but if you want to, you can put a lip pencil. I'm going to go back to that... Um, one that I use for my eyes. Is it going to be the right kind of colour? Let's try and see. If it's not, I can just change it. I like this lip a lot. Giving a slightly more brown to the red. But I like this one too. I don't know why, but like every time I look at my face, I feel like my blush has disappeared. I don't know if that's like a psychological thing or if it actually has. So guys, there you have it. This is the final look for today. It's it's incredible how much like one eyeshadow, just adding one thing to your makeup wardrobe can completely open up a new world of possibilities. So I am so happy I bought this little eyeshadow. It's really soft. I feel like my son has thrown it because it's got a crack in it. I didn't drop it the day that I bought it. So we'll see how long it lasts, but it wasn't that much money. How much was it? seven pounds so even if it dies I can get another one and not break the bank so that's pretty cool I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I really really had fun you can see that um it was so enjoyable for me to do um if you don't follow me on my instagram I'll leave my handle for you here I do live get ready with me on Sunday mornings at 9 30 GMT so if you want to see me do makeup in real time and come and hang out um please join me there if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, please hit the notification bell too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.